Hello, it's Ready Have Reaction. This time we got some more Billy Eilish. She has just dropped Lunch the Music video. Now, when I first reacted to the album Hit Me Hard and Soft, it's on the channel. You can go check it out. All the uncuts are on Patreon links are down below. I said this would be the most mainstreamable song. So if she was going to do a single, I would presume that it was this. So I'm very keen that it is. I'm hoping that the music video is at a calibre that reflects, you know, the what are the, the words that she speaks about, like the funness, the quirkiness. She does some great music videos. So I really hope this has that same impact. When I reacted to the album, I was in blue. Now I'm in red. Everyone's talking about some double album, some blue and red thing. So I'm dressing it for the occasion. I don't know if that's coming. Nothing's come yet. Obviously, if you guys know any more information about that, you can let me know down below. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. There's really nothing else to say. It's going to be a short, super video in and out. Short and sweet, hard and fast, hard and soft. You know how we like it. Music video for lunch. Let's go. Hey, the song is absolutely about. Oh, very like 90s, early 2000s. <laughs> oh, I love that blue and red striped up. The bloody cherry. Yeah, that's sick. She's definitely giving a very little masculine, very lesbian, like cliche lesbian vibes. <laughs> or like tomboy vibe. Lots of eating. Yeah, that blue and red is quite prominent. Let's go. It's a very cool outfit. It's definitely stuff I would wear. It almost is quite reminiscent of old Billy, like, you know, just so casual and like, not done up, just her. Oh my god. <laughs> what are all the cards and the dice are about? <laughs> Very charismatic. Yeah, I guess pretty simple in its delivery. I s Ooh, no link. I oh, know she does that thing where it's black for a while. To stop YouTube bringing up thumbnails, very clever. I love that she does that. Very artistic, you know, not wanting them to block out what she's got to say. Very simple, I suppose, in its delivery, you know. A couple of outfit changes. Well, I suppose, like, a few outfit changes, but, you know, in the same set. Very 2000s. Give me, like, almost, I guess, Blink-182 vibes in terms of just the outfits. I mean, that stuff is just never getting old. The 90s, 2000s, I feel they've just been so prominent for such a long time. Very cool there. I love the estate. love the vibe. Like I said, I'd wear a lot of those outfits. But it definitely feels almost I like even like with her skin not being perfect, and of course none of our skin is perfect, but just showing that and being vulnerable, I suppose in that sense, but just being authentic and real and just having fun, it definitely feels like the old Billy, which is obviously quite relevant in her song where she says the old me is me and I think that's the me now and you know I think she's beautiful so I love just showing that it's also wild that we think that that's so brave and authentic which of course it is in Hollywood but obviously you know day to day we all do that but it's just so wild that we see that stuff and it still like catches off of guard when we see imperfection on people's skins because we are just so conditionalized to have everything perfect and things like that so yes I appreciate that and I love seeing that very fun not our best music video of all time obviously the song's fun such a little funky dive definitely suits the theme of it it definitely feels like she's sending this to someone is in like, uh, you know, a little video like, come on, let's go, let's have some lunch, let's have some lunch, you know, all that stuff. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. I've listened to the album so much since it came out, which is like a day. However, it's been a repeat. I've gone for walks with it. I've been at the gym with it. It's such a grower. It's so intertwined. There's so many beautiful moments within the album. Someone left a comment saying they didn't know which song was their favorite because there's so many favorite moments within each song because a lot of the songs, you know, definitely feel like there's a few mixed in, which I totally agree and definitely have had that experience listening to the album as well. If you want to check out any more Billy videos, they're on my channel. Links are down below. Link cuts are on Patreon as always if you want to support me. But other than that, I'm going to go have some lunch. Thank you.